Melissa. Happy Tuesday. Today I am going to show you all about how to put this, uh, all the different attachments onto my new heat press. So I've had lots and lots of questions about this. Um, and I want to show you, it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but you are going to want to know how to do this so that you can take advantage of the fact that you have an eight in one heat press. So um, if you have joined me last week, I did an unboxing. One of the big reasons that I decided to finally get an eight in one is um, I have multiple size heat presses. I have a different press for mugs, a different press for hats, um, just a regular press. So this will help me to consolidate in what everybody has at some point is an unlimited, not an unlimited amount of space, right? Okay, so here's the thing. The press comes like this. Um, it has this cable which is attached to the top platen. So that needs to be plugged in. I'm gonna just take the whole cord out so that I'm not fighting with it, but it will come with a power cord, which obviously you need to use um, at all times, okay? So I'm not gonna plug it in today because we're gonna be working with it, but this is how the press comes. It has this coil here that needs to go um, into the, um, connection on basically the base. This is where the heat is going to be provided. This is where the control is, okay? So every attachment that you have is going to have one of these cables that needs to be added. So if you, if you have one of these presses and you get power to it and you're like, why isn't it heating up? Which, just speaking from experience, the reason is because you need to do this. Okay, so you also have, um, this is the mug press, okay? This is one of the sizes of the mug press. This part is separate. You'll see it has its own cable. So for this one, you literally can just keep it right next to it and you need to attach it. So that's all that works for that. Now, the mug press, as I said, the mug press does come with multiple size um, attachments and multiple shapes. So if you're using a tumbler, if you're using um, a smaller mug, if you're using a, a mug that's you know contoured, um, you'll have you'll be able to do all of them. So I'm just going to show you um, all of these. These are all of for the mug press. Okay. So in order to use them, use one at a time. You would take this. Let's actually put this to the side a little bit. And there are these four screws right on top of here that you unscrew and that's where you just will replace the um, size of the mug that you're using. This one's, these are stuck tight on there. Okay. Well, oh, that one's red. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So you just unscrew them and then this pops right off of there, okay? And you would replace it with one of these others, okay? So, put this back a little bit, but from underneath, squeeze it together, and slide it on there, okay? And then, put the screws back in, all right? Now, you'll see, this one has its own cable. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward for the mug press. Let me just get these back on here. Okay, so this one would allow me to do a larger size, and it, I don't know if it tells you the exact size on the actual um, attachment or not, but it does tell you in the little guide that comes with it the different sizes, okay? I think there's like an 11 ounce and a 16 ounce, and then a mug, one, and a tumbler. Okay, so pretty easy, right? And then this goes into um, here. When this is, so your press itself needs to be powered on and this needs to be connected and that's how the heat works. Okay, so let's get the mug out of the way. Now, I'm gonna move this so that we have a little bit more room, okay? Um, you also have these two. These are plate, plate presses, okay? Plates, as in like dish plates, okay? So what you need to do to use these, these actually attach to the larger system up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this. Now, in the top of the heat press, and you probably can't see it, but your press is gonna come with this large screwdriver. And 
in the top of the press, you have two holes and it's where you can access these screws, okay? Now, I'm gonna put this down so that my top doesn't just flop away. Can you see what I'm doing? This is sort of awkward, so let me back you up a little bit more. Anyway, those screws are very important, okay? Because what that does is it allows you to put the different attachments on and off, okay? All right, so let's take this off. There's only two of them. Hold on to the screws. You don't want to lose these, okay? And the reason that I, you saw, the reason that I um, put the press down is because watch what happens. Oops. You gotta get that screw completely out of there. I can't really see what I'm doing because I'm trying to give you guys the angle. Okay, so that screw comes completely out too. Okay, so I got those. And then when I lift this up, I'm able to take the top plate of my press off. What that allows me to do is then use this to attach the various size mug plates. So it has, these. this one has its own screws on here and you don't need to undo them. There's a spot in here that you literally just slide it. Oh, this one looks like it needs to be loosened a little bit so that I can slide it. Let's see. Just gonna, okay, you don't need to take them completely out but it's like a larger spot and then it can slide I don't know if you can see that and then you got holes at the top and you can tighten it okay so that would be you can do that for the two plate presses and then you're just using the bottom what you normally do but again you need to plug this in okay so that's where the heat comes from and you have two different sizes so if you have like a bowl that has a flat bottom you can use this if you have a plate, same thing. Only one can go on at a time. Okay, now, you also have a hat press. I'm gonna take this off. Again, you don't need to completely unscrew this because of the way this allows you to just pop it off, all right? So keep the screws screwed in there somewhat so that you don't lose them, okay? Now, I'm, I keep everything in this basket. This is a 12 by 12 basket, just to give you an idea. Then you have the hat press. The hat press comes in two different pieces, okay? So with the hat press, you actually need to remove this base as well. So underneath here, there are some like butterfly um, screws and you're gonna unscrew them. I loosened them a little bit yesterday while I was fooling around with this so I could tell you guys how to do this, but you need to loosen them. If you are trying to do this and that's really tight, Get like a, um, um, not a wrench, a pliers, and you'll, I'm going to show you the screw so you can see in a second here. Okay, so it's like this little, you probably can't see that. These are what's there, okay, and there's two of them. So you're going to do that on both sides. You're going to undo those. Again, keep them close to you, okay. Now... When you do that, this bottom part comes off, okay? Okay, so you don't need that right now. I'm gonna put these to make sure I don't lose them. It goes on the top. Okay, so then you have the bottom part of the mug, the hat press. So again, the hat press goes together like this. It can't, you know, because your hat, the brim of your hat or the top part of the hat, it has, you can see, it has these two cutouts. That goes right on the same screws. And you're gonna use the same butterfly. Um, I, I don't know the name of these things. It looks like a butterfly to me. And you're gonna put that on there so it's nice and tight, keeps this in place, okay? All right, you're gonna do that for both sides. And then you're going to put the top on, okay? So I'm gonna turn this to the side. Again, this top piece has these two screws that are sticking out. They go in the same part, okay? And we'll screw those in using the screwdriver that they gave you. 
כן? Keep it back so it's tight. Okay, and again, you plug the cable from the hot press in because this base, the control panel, is where all the heat comes from. And then you have some control over um, where this comes down and the pressure, obviously, but that's how that works, okay? So those are the eight different things. The regular flat press, it's 15 by 15. Two different size um, plate presses, that makes three. Four different size mugs, that makes seven, and then the hat press is eight, which is why it's called an eight and one. So again, now you need to put this thing back together. Look, this is not something you're gonna be switching out. You know, oh, I wanna make one hat, now I wanna make one shirt, now I wanna make, I would do, you know, as, you know, you spend your time wisely, obviously, but if you're gonna do a bunch of hats and stuff, do them all at the same time, okay? Okay, take this off. You might be able to get away with just taking one off. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then we we'll have to put we have to put the um, regular part of the press back on. All right. So the only thing that's totally separate is that mug press, but it still requires this part of the press to be powered on. Okay. So now I just need to put this all back together. Let's see if I can do this. This might be a little, a little awkward here. It is easier if you only take one of these off and tighten because of just, you know, your hand. It's just hard to fit your hand under there. I saw, see a bunch of you guys texting or commenting. It's difficult to see. All right, so let me just, but I want to put this all back together because I wanted you guys to see how, you know, pretty quickly and easily this is possible. To do now yesterday when I was putting it oh there we go okay um, now these are back ordered right now because they've been so popular so they have come in teal pink um, coral and white they're exclusively from swing design they are 449 regularly 49 for 99.99 um, but they are back ordered right now and should be shipping it sounds like in late March early April um, as you guys know, with the pandemic, things have been very crazy production-wise, manufacturing and shipping, so many delays. Um, okay, so while I do this, I'm just going to scoot this down so it makes it a little bit easier on myself to line this up. like that <coughs> excuse me and then just screw this back on here and then you have to do the other one too <coughs> excuse me all right and whoops you gotta fit your hand in there And again, this screwdriver, which comes comes with it, okay? I really didn't understand why they were giving me a screwdriver until I started swabbing out the um, parts and then, I, then it made much more sense, okay? All right, so now we are back to normal and you have the cord that you wanna plug in, okay? All right, so I know a lot of you guys were wondering like how did you do all that? Um, you can obviously, this video will be on um, Silhouette School's Facebook page under videos. It'll also go on um, YouTube shortly. It populates over there qu very quickly and automatically. Um, so if you ever want to come back and watch it or if you're wondering like what is this press, but that's exactly how um, you put that stuff all together and soon we'll start doing tutorials with this. It's pretty fun. It's pretty straightforward um, and easy. And again, if you're short on space and want to do lots of different things, you know, heat pressing or sublimating on multiple types of surfaces where a flat press is just not going to be enough, but you don't have room for three or four separate uh, presses, this is a good economical option. Plus, if you have an issue, which I did yesterday with, I couldn't figure out which of these screws, you can 
There's customer support. Um, and you can contact Swing directly to ask, you know, for help with this. Um, and that's not something that you'll probably be able to get directly on uh, Amazon or anyway. So, okay, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous day. See you soon.